everyone, welcome to the newest episode of the Some Ordinary Podcast. Today, I am here with my lovely co-host who's here every single week, Mudahar, a wonderful, wow. wonderful married man. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> Oompaville's dead, and Willie, <laughs> Will from the Willie Mac Show, is our guest today. Hey, what's up, guys? Thanks for having me on. Hell yeah. How's it going, brother? How's that red pill been destroying your brain cell count lately? <laughs> Dude, my uh, my brain cell count is at an all-time low. It's uh, it's painful. Honestly, I love the red pill stuff because it's like a, a whole group of psychos that uh, haven't been talked about yet. So I play I play a lot of GTA, so every time I like and listen to the like fresh and fit or the red pill guys i just think like they're gta like parody radio <laughs> they sound like now. it yeah yeah, yeah. They do. <laughs> like it's just a reality now at this moment mm -hmm. what's wild to me is how popular it is like i get that there's a couple of people like that but the fact that it's so popular and lucrative just blows my mind it makes sense though why it's popular because how many like every single person has been through at least one bad breakup and a ton of people have gone through divorce. So when you're angry and mad, it's like these guys are just sitting there waiting to catch you. And like, uh, like, uh, yeah, like they're just waiting all to your fly fears and insecurities. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, that did leave you because she sucks, doesn't she? Yeah, yeah, now pay us money. Dude, we'll I call don't know. her. I did just you saw, send us 50 bucks? I, I just saw in the Charlie, vi Charlie made a video. Uh, he was talking about this one dude who's like, he asks the girl, like, what, what would you rate me out of 10? And she says a two. And he gets all offended. He throws a hissy fit and kicks her out of the show. <laughs> yeah. Like, th these people, they're like caricatures of themselves. Well, what's weird is like there, there's the Fresh and Fit podcast, which was like the original like red pill get mad at your girlfriend podcast. And now there's like mm -hmm. four others that have spun out of nowhere that are all popular too. Like they're all f***ing growing like crazy. And they just do fresh and fit, but worse. It's just the even worse version of fresh and fit. I, I, I think the reason they're so popular is like on a surface level, if you just look at some of their stuff, like work out, eat right, you know, f***ing get a better job, make more money. All that stuff is really positive. And like, I agree with everything that they say there, right? And then like, then they redline it. You know what I mean? Like the car's kind of like, you know, going and then they just like, engine just red lines into the stupid misogynistic shit that didn't need to be there dude, dude people but, um, people like said to me after i made my video you know why don't you speak about the nice things they say like how men should work hard it's like dude has has nobody told you to work hard before in your life yeah like, you like, gotta you, be you, 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 exactly yeah you don't really need you to have like a by the, like my the self proclaimed uh, that that you need to work hard <laughs> dude dude people were, were messaging me being like uh, that guy's actually just a comedian. It's like, no, he's done stand up a few times. That guy spent legitimate time in jail for killing someone. Like he's what? He's like that guy's that guy's <laughs> wait, wait, a what? murderer. La, yeah, la, Charleston White is a murderer. He's not a, just a fucking comedian. He spent huh? time in prison. Like, what are whoa, we talking okay, whoa, about? Whoa, whoa, dude, on, dude, dude, dude. I watched Willie, your video. Willie. You made a whole video talking yeah. about the Fresh and Fit podcast. Yeah. All these people yeah. who are all butthurt at women for ruining their lives and saying that mm -hmm. you know men are supposed to sleep around and women are supposed to be loyal and stuff like that right yeah yeah how did mm. you not mention this in your video dude because yeah, he's wait, like a on. whole nother rabbit hole bro you, you can't you can't lore drop give me more on this <laughs> dude, you can't so, so, so charleston white i'm gonna get this instantly demonetized your guys podcast we don't but, care we want to know yeah we, we don't give a shit we want to dude are we listen i'm not the podcast that uses essay and like code dude, names speak, okay, right, this can I just is make one, one quick mini <laughs> tiny ahead. tangent mini tiny tangent okay yeah. go for it nico is on rumble saying every slur in the world but whatever he wants yeah, to say yeah. the word he says grape yeah exactly like even on youtube like when he's like guys essay or like grape and i'm like no 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 no, no. let's use the politically let's use the actual term yeah dude i'm covering a serial killer tomorrow bro they literally write the word serial like it's fruit loops dude just say serial <laughs> killer like this guy is a sicker like yeah. what the f is a sicker serial like just no, use the whole dude, word for Let's me because leafy had a whole conversation <laughs> with sneeko and i we will get to that later it, it was funny okay but the whole time sneeko's like yeah this dude he graped a girl and leafy's like what he graped someone yeah, it's like, he's like i don't know what you're saying you know grape like the fruit like but without the g and he's like why are you saying it like that like he didn't even comprehend don't even get me started on the youtube censorship shit that that shit drives me insane he went to rumble so he could say <laughs> racial slurs and he says great <laughs> that's the comedy <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You know, all the anti-Semitic shit, that's fine on Rumble. But when it comes to talking about sexual assault, no, we gotta chill it out What there. is up with that? Yeah. Did you see the clip of Sneeko talking to Leafy? And Leafy's like, wait, so do you actually believe, like, the Jews secretly run the world? And Sneeko's like, 
Well, yeah, of course. And Levy's just like, what? <laughs> that, that, was, I thought you I, were I like, that was my favorite piece of content that came out of the week. Favorite in yeah. like maybe a negative way. But that whole conversation was wild. He's like, so uh, this Jews caused 9-11, right? And he was like – He speaks about it like everybody just knows that and, already. Like, like obviously – and, yeah, and so, obvious. and Leafy's just like, like he's like, yeah, of course, of course, like sarcastically, because no one can actually believe this stuff, right? And uh, so, like he's like saying, yeah, of course, sarcastically. And then later in the conversation that they're having, he he brings up a, he says, uh, like I'm converting to Islam, and Leafy's like, Islam, aren't those the guys that caused nine eleven? He's like, no, it's the Jews. Like, haven't you been listening? Well, he was he like, was in the he was in the, he was serious in the, about uh, that though. Leafy's well, like, memeing well, and he's serious, man. Well, Sneeko was at the club the other day, and I kind of wanted to quote tweet and be like, don't worry, boys, there's a prayer room in that nightclub somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> like, dude, these, like, the thing is, he wants, like, the, the weird thing about the Islam conversion is, like, some of these guys convert to it, and it's like, wait a minute, if you were actually a Muslim, bro, you would, bro, you'd be praying five times a day. Anytime you got the, if you, if you even talk to a woman out of wedlock, you're getting beheaded, dude. Like, what the f- Well, I mean, he lies <laughs> like, about it a lot, though. Like, he said, oh, yeah. like, he went to, he went to, yeah, like, the... That. The prayer thing at uh, yeah. like the what is it the mosque? Yeah. He said he went to a mosque and it was full, yeah. and then he went to a church yeah, on Gide- Easter Sunday. Gideon Gide- Gide- called him out on that. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's like it's just the dude's full uh, of shit, man. Yeah, a lot of these guys really are, and, and the thing is, it's like you're right. Like the reason why you don't really talk about like their good statements, like dude, when I did the Andrew Tate video, like do you know how many comments there were? Where it's like, well, you just took this two minute clip out of context. If you watch the five hour podcast, I'm like, listen, bro, unlike you, yes, I have a job, yes. okay? I'm not gonna sit there watching a five hour Andrew Tate no, podcast. Here's the thing, I have watched the whole <laughs> eight hour podcast of Fresh and Fit, yeah, bro. Like what, I got over cut, here, he I, doesn't but I gotta have a life. The- <laughs> Take but that, yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. But I got to cut their argument off somewhere. Like, he's just like, you should have played the whole thing. I'm like, I can't play eight hours of him talking in a f-ing circle. Like, I, <laughs> do you need, did at, you at ever... What, at what point, at what point... When does he ever let the context? woman talk for more than four minutes before he cuts her off, bro? Like, at some point, I got to cut him off and, f-ing, like, nail in a point. Yeah. Well, like, the thing about why their podcasts are so successful and why they get these owns on women is because, like, they're literally finding the lowest common denominator. Like, they go out to, like, Do you know Miami, how they like, them? nightclubs. They pay I think them, they right? bring them on, like, uh, they pay they pay, what are they, how do they bring no, them on? No, no, how they get them just... is they get them where uh, he recruits them on Instagram, their producer. And then, of course, all the girls that they get off Instagram are people trying to be Instagram models or OnlyFans chicks or whatever. Okay. So they have a cent- incentive to go on there. And the other way they get them is sometimes they pull them from clubs or whatever. So that's why you get some girls that are just f***ing drunk or like 19 years old on there where it's like 19 f- years old. Like their life hasn't really begun yet. They're like, how do you have you not locked down a man yet? It's like Sneeko. Even Sneeko was like, bro, she's in high school still. Like, what do you mean? Like Sneeko's <laughs> talking sense into these <laughs> guys, bro. This is a wa- so you're like, wait a minute. I might be f***ing stupid, but I ain't that f***ing stupid yet. <laughs> it's insane, man. <laughs> Oh, no, that's, it, that's my favorite. The that's Muslim favorite grift is like uh, the weirdest turn for the red pill for me because I, I, it's like come out of nowhere. I don't really it fully works, understand though. it. It really works though. Like I have my aunt's kids who are like kind of – the oldest one is kind of like a Tate guy now. Mm-hmm. Like he's kind of – like okay, so I have the youngest kid who's like starting to diet, okay? And we're telling him he's in like the third grade, the fourth grade. And I'm like he's already he's thinking about like dieting. dieting. Yeah, he's thinking about like <laughs> – okay, he's like a little – he's like a tyke, you know, like a little fucking dude and mm-hmm. shit. And – his brother, he's in high school. So when he's talking about when he wants to get fit, I'm like, I get that. You're in high school. Like, you know, you're through puberty. Like the girls are, the hormones are kicking in. His younger brother is like following his older brother now. And he's like, dude, he just wants to like, I'm like, dude, you're, when I was your age, dude, I, I would eat all the candy in the fucking world, dude. Play video games, go That's out and like, kick was, ball. Yeah. Like, what the f- like th- these kids aren't even like kids anymore. They're like growing up way too goddamn fast, and like their influence is so dumb. Like I had to, I had to sit down with my uncle. I'm like, you gotta fucking. I I, ga- I gave him the Andrew Tate talk. I'm like, you gotta man the fuck up, dude. You gotta fucking be an example there. Like, dude, your the kids internet, are following this shit. Yeah, man. The internet like uh, is making kids like get into these adult conversations way too fucking young when they should just be focusing on like them and growing up, like like their childhood and shit. So I yeah. I think that's weird because like. The internet was a thing when I was a kid, but like YouTube wasn't around until like 2009, really, like in, in the yeah. real way. Yep. So it's like, uh, 
I didn't really grow up with like that shit until I got into high school. No, same. Yeah. Like, my, oh. my first experience with like influencers was, you know, watching Smosh right in high school, you know, like that type of stuff. Yeah. It's yeah. And not... like the Pikachu song video they did, the Pokemon, yeah. uh, where they're like beating yeah, like... Pikachu with a belt. I, influencers weren't called influencers because I don't think any of them actually felt like they could influence people. They made they were entertainers, but they weren't influencers, right? Now everyone has an ideology to push. Everyone has to convince you to vote a certain way. So you know how every time you look up weird penis enhancing surgeries and stuff like that, and you don't want anyone else to see it? Well, I got your back. You know ExpressVPN and how it protects your privacy and security online? There are a lot of things you don't know about it. You can also use ExpressVPN to unlock movies and shows that are only available in other countries. If you're like me, and you watched Velma, and you absolutely hated it, and you wanted to hate watch Friends, the great news is that you could just go on UK Netflix and watch it there. It's so simple. ExpressVPN lets you control where you want sites to think you're located. You can choose from almost 100 countries, so just imagine all the Netflix libraries you could go through. You like Korean dramas? Boom! ExpressVPN to Parasite off of South Korea Netflix. And it's not just Netflix. ExpressVPN works with any streaming service. Hulu, BBC, iPlayer, YouTube, you name it. There are hundreds of VPNs out there, and the only reason I use ExpressVPNs to watch shows is because it's insanely fast. There's no buffering, there's no lag, stream in HD, absolutely no problemo. ExpressVPN also works on all your devices, phone, media, console, smart TVs, and more. You can watch what you want on the big screen or on the go. So, if you want access to hundreds of new shows, go to expressvpn.com slash SOP right now. You can get an extra three months of ExpressVPN for free. That's expressvpn.com slash SOP. Link in the description. Well, like, back then, what was the ideologies? I remember growing, my content when I was growing up, like, I was watching Angry Video Game Nerd, and then, like, I watched a, I watched pretty much every Call of Duty commentator, like, and Keemstar, Wings of Redemption, Woody's Gamertag, all these guys. And it's like the closest thing politically I could ever think of was like nothing. Because it was like the, the biggest like fucking shift, the, the biggest like drama back in the day was like when Wings lost to like Syndicate in a fucking God match. <laughs> yeah. There was some rage. And I'm like, there's nothing inherent. There's no message being passed on. It's just too fucking. Yeah. Like, you know, that one like meme is like too starts fighting that's all it is it's like literally well the first political thing i even really remember seeing wasn't until uh like i was like into college where uh it was casey neistat poting that like that i'm voting for hillary clinton video yes i remember that yeah, yeah. that was like trending for a while yeah, like, I, I, was, I was do you remember the reaction that got because i do very clearly he posted he got that shit video he posted that video on voting for hillary clinton and he was allegedly paid by hillary clinton to post that video uh, I don't know if there's any truth to that, though, was there? I just, I, I don't know. It's, uh, I think Ethan Klein asked him, and he, like, said, like, what do you think? Like, in a sussy way, you know, like, yes, mm. but no. Okay. But, and then H3H3 made a video saying, it doesn't matter who you vote for. You're just some dumb idiot online. Like, and he was, like, really blasting yeah, him. Yeah. Really blasting him for bringing your political opinions into, you're a vlogger. Like, what are you talking about politics for? My, my, my. How and now it's all Ethan followed. does. Yeah, now all Ethan does is like talk about like liberal shit, like all the like politics is like his main thing. Yeah, I think it's just a market that's like the most successful for the format at the moment, right? Like the internet and like where it's gone to. Because if there's you look at it from content. an algorithmic perspective, there's always yeah, there's always content. content. But also, it's like the way that the YouTube system works is it kind of rewards people that radicalize individuals, like. Yeah. That's it's why, like, in my opinion, like Ben Shapiro and the Daily Wire people are like Matt Walsh and those guys are super successful on their end. And then at the same time, you got like the H3 podcast, which, again, I don't even think it's super duper political. The more like gossip, like trending new stuff. Uh, when I think of like lefty, like political shit, I'm thinking of like Bosch, Destiny, Hassan, Hassan. Biker and those guys. And like, if you ever look at their YouTube content, the more aggressive they are in the politics the better the likes and dislikes are right like you look at matt walsh and you're like damn you can't agree with this take but it's like damn this guy's like a 99.9 percent .9 like ratio and the reason for that is like youtube has pretty much crafted and moved that audience of people that were once initially right-leaning into like okay you're like super right like you better hate anything the left does and then vice versa for left side too like so it's a weird world that we're into and like nux you're right it's like infinite content like because every day something is happening every day something. or every day Dude, you can take a neutral don't... topic and frame it there's the school shooting and there's content like these people are eating off of this tragedy 
Like literally. Well, like, could you imagine like back in the day when Call of Duty content, like commentary, like there were like people that did news videos, right? Like I remember this guy named J Dom. There was like a shooting and he did like a news commentary over like GTA footage. Back then, everyone and blasted people for doing that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Especially yeah. monetizing a video. Now it's like, all right, f-ing go for it, dude. Open season. Like tragedy. Like people are reporting on this faster than Fox News and like mainstream media. And they're getting videos out like this one Jordan Neely guy, uh, the subway um, killing that yeah. happened. Uh, I'm not super familiar on it, but like before I could even see the news videos on the Internet, it was like just takes being uploaded by like clip channels. And I'm like, damn, dude, there's not like the body ain't even cold yet. <laughs> We've already got like the videos out. So I, I remember, listen, may, maybe I was just more naive back in the day but i remember when something like that happened like there was a school shooting or whatever like that was a moment of unity like everyone kind of got together and were like wow this is a horrible thing that happened now it's just an excuse to post your agenda well yeah exactly it's like you know it's one bad thing to stop it from happening right if once it happens for the 500th time how many times can you come together no but you say that nobody does anything though literally nothing's been done about it even yeah, the like no law that it. Passed, no how much are, how much is the internet becoming more political just like because let's face it old people are always political right like you look at any old person ever yeah. at any point in time they're always Knowledge. in politics yeah. right 100 how much of that is just the internet getting older the fact that politics is becoming a, a bigger thing online maybe that's a good you thought. Know? I, yeah i think so I, I think it's yeah we've all aged like 10 15 yeah, years i think it's like the natural like... state of things because before like you look it's like all these 16 year olds and like 20 year olds were like the top people in youtube well now all those people are in their 30s and 40s and shit so i think it yeah, kind of makes like sense it's... and shit yeah, yeah. and we all it consume it too like as much as we shit on it we all ultimately fall into the trap of consuming that content too because maybe like it's just like for me, like it used to be, oh, I'll put Destiny and stuff on in the background, like, uh, you know, while I'm editing a video because it's just background noise to me. But then now I'm like, oh, something happened. Let me get my news source from here. Right. Or like you go to Twitter mm-hmm. and shit and you like scroll the timeline for a minute. and You're like, all right, I'm caught up on the f-ing state of the world. It's f-ing shitty. Well, let's move on with my day. Also, but, the um, top people in the political sphere are like complete spurgs, which makes it like just super funny to like participate in. Like Hassan is such a f-ing maniac, bro. Or like. Or like the like Sneeko, like Sneeko posted a video, his like response video to uh, Charlie, and in it mm-hmm. he's like, "How fucked up is it that uh you know all these news stations were reporting on, we're more worried about the the trans shooter, the Nashville shooter's uh gender, and what they identified as than them killing people." Mm-hmm. And in the in the video he posts a newspaper clip of the Colorado shooting. It's not even the same shooting. So that, that never happened. Sneakers just said it and then showed a completely irrelevant news clip. Like that, dude, it's like, hell- these yeah. people are f- it's, psychos. Yeah. They're idiots. I, 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 I give Hassan the credit though. Cause when like ever I see like his stuff, he's always like the way that he presents any news is so constantly engaging. Like he's yelling, he's over the top. Yeah. So it's like in a way, like the guy is an excellent fucking entertainer. Just like the oh, same way is, Destiny is an is. excellent fucking debater, right? Like fucking when he gets somebody Destiny's on. Destiny's a very good yeah, debater, well, yeah. Well, the thing is, like, Destiny's a dude that steps into the lion's den for anything. Like, fucking, okay, anybody, like, it's hard to get out of your comfort zone, right? Like, it's like when you're sitting on the Fresh and Fit podcast with, like, nine dudes that all hate your fucking guts and your way of life, and then you're fucking running, like, like he walks in like John fucking Wick shooting out, like, nine dudes hunting him down. I'm like, dude, there's just no... <laughs> Left dude, dude that's the future i think that's where <laughs> that's where commentary's gotta go we just gotta go in the lines then we exactly dude the, the the thing is like even with like somebody like sneeko um you know part of me gives him a little bit of credit because i've seen his older content so i have a little bit of like this guy is not a total idiot you know like he's not a complete i buffoon. think he's a complete Clearly, idiot i i think he's a well, complete like, idiot he too. had listen he had the ability back in the day to like critically kind of think right like some of his older content Dude, i, don't I think disagree was... with how profound those points are in that older content but i mean like I mean, it's like celebrities now. are just his people too content. it's like is that really profound Dude, his like, old content like, com- was edgier listen, compared Darman. to the yeah. okay. like compared to the shit now is a thing right yeah. like to me i look at that and i'm like all right this guy didn't just drop out he's not like a cia plant that's a total <laughs> like, maybe it's a real human at some point yeah obviously now like 
I feel like he gets off way too easy. Like he really does I get off way you. too easy by everyone because it's just he is he like I'm not one of those people where it's like I'm against free speech, but like there's a there's a degree of responsibility in the kind of shit that you say, right? Like tomorrow I'm covering this video on this guy called Ken Walks who like was covering this like in TikTok serial killer case, right? Mm -hmm. Now the thing is, TikTok viewers are are retarded, you know, and I'm saying this in the nicest way possible. They they are stupid yes so <laughs> so so like for two months he's running this investigation and everyone in the comments like yes king oh my god and you're killing it <laughs> so he's covering this serial killer case called the smiley face gang right now it takes you five minutes five minutes I'm, I, dude i timed this okay if you were absolutely wasted it takes you five minutes to google the smiley face gang and find out FBI prints, homicide-like research that tells you this is a fucking debunked theory and it's stupid. Well, yeah, this guy yeah. was promoting it. it. This guy's promoting it for two months, and people believe this shit. And then, literally a day ago, he apologized. And you know why he apologized? Because he was running this like fucking investigation where he was literally throwing like evidence at a wall that didn't correlate, and he was promoting some stupid app in between. So people were like, hold on, wait a minute. So you're now profiting off of these tragedies and missing and dead people. Yeah. And then you're promoting an app and Dude. selling it. I'm like, what the yeah. The true crime, like, uh, like scandals that exist in that space are f***ing wild. Like, it was just, uh, I think in November, there was a guy in the true crime community who mm. was, do you remember the Gabby Petito story? Yeah. And they, yeah, couldn't, they couldn't find her boyfriend who killed her. Mm -hmm. And he was, re he was reporting that that dude, like, uh, Oh, here's here's video of him escaping in the ocean. He's like gone into the ocean on a boat, and he was just using like old footage of him from a fishing trip mm -hmm. that he was like cutting up. He was faking yeah. news articles and interviews by like using uh, what was it when you hit like F twelve or whatever? And, uh, yeah, like screen print screen or something. Yeah, yeah. He was like replacing and using fake news articles to push fake videos that got like half a million views. But the, but that's the thing. Like you're right, like they got half a million views because the audience over there is brain dead yeah, they like, are. like it took me like the whole point of the video is like i'm not even shitting on ken walks as much because i'm like all right he's a fucking piece of shit but like how stupid are you to not do five minutes of research on a two-month period of time following this dude's investigation right it's like the kind of audience that's there is a the kind of audience that starts a podcast called frenemies <laughs> and doesn't believe that gravity exists yeah until your co-host brings it up you know what i mean like that's how dumb these people are they're like so like part of me is like dude it's not so much the tiktok where i'm mad at it's the fucking audience for it okay like they're fucking stupid the audience so anyways, is the like, most defensive part too. sometimes like you can't blame yeah. all these people i don't know nox i was a kid too but i wasn't fucking that brain dead like <laughs> you know, part of me is come on now yeah but then again you have parents that raised you right your parents that's didn't true. just put a phone in a, front of you yeah i wasn't abandoned that's true can you, right? can you imagine like, being raised by by a true crime channel like that's that's why wow, you bro, fucking do everything percept dude okay so this guy's video like okay so ken walks he gives so like part of the only good thing that he does is he gives good advice you want to know what his good advice is prepare for this okay what is it if you're in a major city and you're drinking late at night don't get into a random car for free for a free ride damn Bro, I found this shit out when I was seven, okay? All right, once you get into the free candy van once and twice, okay, the third time, you know, you got to start fucking firing the synapses. This <laughs> disease where all these fans go around and they're like, they hear one piece of good advice from the guy and they're like, it's fu wow, funny he's not talking about the nice things he yeah. says. It's like, bro, we're, no, I... We're talking about how the, the shitty things he does. That's the point of this video, yeah. all right? Like, any, you could get that nice advice from anybody. <laughs> <laughs> seriously it's like, like, it's, it's like it's like that south park episode where the kids like they lock the kids out from the outside world and shit yeah, and like yeah. it's literally just like the the ghost of human kindness who turned out to be like a diddler or whatever he's like no no he said <laughs> respect and love your family right like let's forget the diddling part the first section made sense but on the ken walk story so this is how stupid the tiktok audience is he told everyone that he was getting recruited by the fbi okay so he showed emails of it now Look, I, you guys, when did you guys learn how to read, okay? Do you guys remember the age, like the exact grade? The no. exact, it had to be like first grade, right? Yeah. First grade, grade, right? Yeah. So, yeah. First, you're at a 
in like university level like reading comprehension compared to tiktokers because he showed this <laughs> image of like the gmail like list and it was like you know how like you go to the fbi and you fill out like one of those auto like like job applications like auto like it was a reply email back like an auto reply yeah he was like the fbi is recruiting me and i'm like dude i can read the fucking letterhead you literally applied to be a special <laughs> agent and they're just auto replying back to you like they're not f***ing recruiting you jackass and then it gets even wilder. So you have like this other TikToker that's like, I'm going to respond to Ken Walks. By the way, let me give you my background. I was a former army in interrogator in Afghanistan. I'm like, all right, that's a funny way of saying you tortured people. Well, I don't know why the f you brought that one up. And he's like, something about his like recruitment email rubbed me the wrong way. It said that he, it was an auto reply. I'm like, really? It took your fucking interrogator Afghan. Like it, it took this U.S. Army Delta Force interrogator. How does an that auto much? reply <laughs> rub you the wrong way? It's a fucking auto reply. What's that mean? Yeah, he's like, well, he was like, he's really not getting recruited because I read the auto reply and it said that yeah, he applied. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like, so wait a minute, your Delta Force Army interrogator ass is now trying to debunk this point, dude. A five-year-old could have debunked this shit okay once they figure out how to fucking read that's how stupid this audience ended up becoming so like you know it, the whole thing about like the red pill community and like the audiences too it all it, like it comes down to this relationship between the creator and the audience too because it's like like we all can agree like there's a lot of like andrew tate we, like i assume most of us like all of us here really don't think he's like hot shit yeah there's some things he says that are okay with like 90% of that shit we disagree with, right? And it's the same that can go for really any creator. But I think it's up to like the audience and, and they got to like start. There needs to be like some literacy test before you start getting onto these fucking websites, dude. Like there really needs to be. It doesn't even be. need to be that high, bro. We just need to like <laughs> scrape off the bottom like 5% of shit that's stuck to the bottom of your shoe. It's wild. That's what I'm saying. They, they should do like a reading test. You know, like there's some forums that I apply to, like I sign up to and I'm doing like virus investigation shit and they make you do like a math equation. And people are like, but what if that's like, you know, fucking filtering out people that are stupid? I'm like, well, what's the fuck? problem there okay Dude, like <laughs> the thing with the red pill people is i'm like certain like uh like a certain like a huge percentage of those guys are all gay on there they're all just like repressed and fucking angry like uh like my i have the same belief yeah dude honestly. i swear yeah. to fucking god man like uh steven crowder had like some schizo tweets from like last year if you remember being like blah 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 yeah i like to dress up and do this and i you know I, I sometimes fa I'm worried that like people find out I'm gay and he deleted all of them and it's like what the fuck was Bro, that? Bro, that clip you shared last night of the dude deep throating the fucking banana yeah, was like enough to tell me everyone. The, the parent like <laughs> Republican comedian, right? Like the fucking comedian or whatever yeah. has like a secret clip that is leaked of making a dude deep throat a banana as he's <laughs> holding it and like sitting in his chair. It's fucking weird. Or like Myron constantly like these girls will be like. What's wrong with me going to school and like getting a degree? And Myron will be like, "It's because it's manly. It's manly." And she's like, "Yeah, but I mean, like, you know." Would you kiss two, me if I wore lipstick? Two income. Would you kiss two... me if I wore lipstick? And he yeah, goes crazy. Yeah. And Myron's like, "Well, what if I wore heels and lipstick? Would you still think I'm manly?" And he's, she's like, "I don't really get how that like relates to me having a degree, though." And I'll, or I'll be like, "What if you looked through my phone and saw I did." past would you still be interested in me and she's like, well, <laughs> like wait. well no because you'd be gay and he's like see your past matters and she's like it's not that your past matters it's the fact that you'd be you'd be gay <laughs> like, <he doesn't... laughs> yeah. i'm like myron how many analogies to like just being gay do you have to put out like every every fucking month for me to no, be for, 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 for me, his, best, to tell his you. best line of the podcast is like us men we only care about your past because your future ends when you like marry when us you're 25 when you're 25 as a woman, you're done. Your oh my God, Whereas dude, you, I you love only that. care about I played, our I played that clip in front of my fucking mom, dude. My mom was like, my, my mom just literally like her fucking jaw dropped. Because when, when they heard like breedable ages, my mom's like, somebody needs to call the fucking feds on them. Like, what, is, <laughs> yeah, what are we dude. paying the FBI for? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, 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 okay. When you get into the point where I, I remember I saw this like one tweet. I don't remember who tweeted it, but it was like the age that women hit a wall. Where's like 26 years of age or some shit. Yeah. Like at 26, she's like a fucking granny, okay? Like she's got like wizard, she's mm -hmm. dark insidious or the something. Forget about her. Yeah. It gone, like <laughs> unreadable, okay? Oh, and then, like you look at the normal age and it's like it, it's like under 18, and I'm like, wait a fucking minute, hold on a minute. Is this like is this a red pillar or a pedophile? I'm not entirely sure here. Dude, so, dude, how about if he goes weird. on like a an angry rant about how he was a virgin playing xbox when he was 18 and women wouldn't give him a chance Bro, it's like 
that was the wildest shit in the world. He's like, I was this fat, pudgy loser back in the day. And now I'm not. Where is my... That's now. why I'm going like, for 18 year olds because when I was fat and I was 18, nobody would give me a chance. That's why I'm going for girls when they're in their prime, 18, 19 at most. It's Yo, like I'm just imagining from the perspective bruh. of someone watching this podcast, they don't know anything about this red pill community, and they're like, "There's no way these are real people. These are real people." Oh, but they are. They, they the thing people. is, it's like it's like it'd be like the the thing is, it's like it's kind of if you make content right where you play a fucking character. If you play a character all day, you're going to fucking become that character. Oh, yeah. You know? Like, people are like, Andrew Tate's a comedian. I'm like, okay, but where's the f- funny, though? Like, where's the where's the part where I'm supposed to laugh? Dude, when they say you know? Charleston like, White, the f***ing guy who went to jail for murder is a comedian. I just about broke my keyboard in half, man. I just cannot understand it. That guy literally said, like, we should rape Chinese women and, like, string up Chinese babies and feed them for alligators as a, and use them as alligator bait. Like, dude, like... That guy, like, where's the joke there? Like, he's not joking. He's not on stage. He's not doing Bro, anything. You didn't get it. When he said Chinese, that was a joke, though. Like, come on now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, he's yeah, sna- or how the real, the stories that are told the <laughs> jokes about him rolling up, uh, putting crack in white girls' cigarettes so they get all f***ed up and he can f*** them. Yeah, that's all. Those are all jokes, guys. Yeah, exactly. Exa- well, like, well, the thing is, it's Got like, him. you know, uh, obviously, listen. Got him. Got you, her you, good. Listen, ah. listen, bro, listen. <laughs> the humor break, bro. is in the eye of the beholder. Dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah these, these, listen, the these humor is she didn't like, expect it. That's the funny part, right? Dude, it's Jesus. like, it's like, it, it's like, listen, bro. Like, you know, the funniest thing you go to a bar, you roofie. That's like, that's just hilarious. Drugging people is its own, like, funny, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Like, same that, with that's murder. The part Those you're are missing funny. Out. Bro, murder? Hilarious, you should see dude. the Let's clip where he recalls murdering the guy. He's like, yeah, we got in the car and we all like laughed about it. I was like, bro, this is bro. Fucking... Yeah, man. Like this guy's awful, dude. Like, and the weird part, <laughs> and I'm sure that there is someone in the fan in the audience that's like, damn, this guy is a badass. So Th- the reason he's the defended a lot is because he blames him doing all those things. On society. Uh, off no, well, yeah, but off of uh off of black like music and like rap songs. He's like, I listen to like rap and hip hop. So it's in the culture to do these things. People are like, oh, yeah, man. you're smart. I'm like, I listened to those songs. I didn't, f-ing, I didn't do that shit. What are we talking whoa, whoa, about? Whoa, whoa. Okay. Now hold on. I played five minutes of San Andreas and immediately yeah. started sewing crack. What the f- Like, bro, how are, we, how are we giving this guy shit? This, this guy's literally the guy that would play GTA and go kill somebody then. Like we can't, this is the kind of guy that needs to be locked up. He's the guy that Jack Thompson would be like, you see, they're all f***ing murders and murders yeah. in that Grand Theft Auto. You get that? Yeah, no, he's a, that, that's a, that's some genuinely unhinged f***ing nut job status. That's wild. But you know, you know, one thing we all can kind of agree on is a uh, big segue, copyright abusers. Like we all hate that they're shit. They're the f***ing worst. I, I was, Bro, I was kind of waiting for like a tangent to go from the stupid conversation to another stupid thing Sneeko said. So do you mind if I just say it? Go go, yeah, so yeah, no, go, for, go for it. Go for it. Let it out. Let it out of your system. My favorite part of the Sneeko and Leafy discussion was when Sneeko <laughs> said the Jews control the banks. To which Leafy said, "Okay, so then why would you say that? They're just going to freeze your money." <laughs> <laughs> and he's Dude. like, "No, Kanye said it, and he lost deals." It's like, so El Kanye, he he shouldn't have said it because now he lost his money. So even if it is true, it's just a stupid thing to say. <laughs> and he's just it's like, just funny to he see was like, like flabbergasted. He was like, "Oh, oh my god!" It's like that's true. <laughs> yeah, oh it's god. just funny to see like Leafy, who's been off the internet for like so long. Like, finally, he gets this Rumble deal. He's back, so he's just kind of figuring out who these characters like Sneeko are. And when Sneeko's like trying to walk him through like all these conspiracies, Leafy's like, "So why not just not talk about it then? Like, who cares? <laughs> like, they're gonna do that." Who cares? It's just like, like, I, 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 I want, I, I'm being, I'm being real. Willie, we should make a show together, like, and upload it onto whoever's channel. Like, literally, call like the fucking detox. Like, we should literally invite these people out, like, fly them out intervention style, and I'm debunk down. their points in oh, front of them. Yeah. Like, like, film it yeah. like a whole reality TV show. Like, let's sneak a go on a fucking rant, and then like the whole camera shots is just us like looking back and going. This is a real dude, human dude, being, guys. Dude, yes, because <laughs> look, here's the thing, right? I think the internet is getting to a point where like uh like content, like the people that are making the really good shit 
are like Destiny who are interacting with other people and people that disagree. And I think it's important for normal people that aren't on like one extreme or the other mm-hmm. to also be interacting and like getting involved to a degree, even if it's sometimes it's just for the yeah. meme or whatever, right? So I'm no, in, I'm, I want to do that. I'm, That's where I want to go. I'm pretty middle of the road. I want to have like the most extreme people from every angle just yes. to bring their point up, you know? Like I want to hear this shit. Yes, I want I'm to in. contribute to it. Let's and let, well, let's let's go and make it happen. All right, so, copyright abuse. But, uh, what were you going on about? Yeah, so, sorry, yeah. sorry for derailing. I just thought so, that was hilarious. No, 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 no. Listen, any any time we get to mention the red pillars is a fucking bonus game. <laughs> that's what I. That's what. That's kind of what I live for these days. That's the kind of content right, I consume. We're rebranding this podcast to the Fresh and Fat Podcast. We're, we're, listen, we're we're yeah, the, yeah, the fucking filthy, filthy and fat podcast. <laughs> dude, dude, the video of <laughs> Fresh being fat with his man boobs. And, and, and Myron's going. And Myron's going. We are superior. We are physically superior to women. It's like his man boobs are the best clip ever. Oh man, I can't wait for them to clip this because they hate your ass. Bro. Oh, dude, they're they a fucking bunch. Of- I'll come down to Miami. I'll go on the show. Let's do it. I mean, the thing is, you're not also you're not stupid though. You you've been to a college. They're not <laughs> listen. They're they're the fucking strict no education policy. Well, it's like half the reason I feel like they do so well. Like they always say on there, how come the guys we have on are always able to form sentences and blah blah? It's because like, dude, you only have on YouTubers. Like YouTubers, of course yeah. they can. It's what they do for a fucking living. Of course they're going to be better at catching your logical fallacies than some random lady you picked up off Instagram. Exactly. Exactly. Like even some random dude you picked up. Yeah. Off if the street, dude, too. how many dumb people call into like Tommy C show or some shit that are guys <laughs> all the fucking time, right? It's because <laughs> it's because when you got a YouTuber on, which almost all their guys that they have on are YouTubers or rappers or some shit, their whole job is talking. Of course they're better at it. Exactly. But copyright abuse, boys and girls. This is uh, so we've all made videos on this. Yes. We've all talked about it. We've all we've all dealt with a specific copyright troller on, on each you know each other's like sagas. Um, so Quantum TV was a bad dude. Yeah, he said. I think we all can agree he's a fucking shitty individual. Um, Illuminati. Well, she had some really shitty points uh, two weeks ago where it came down to a highlighter effect on a video, <laughs> which we all use, by the way. Let's not yeah. pretend. Um, she had a really shitty take, but, you know, I'll give Illuminati credit. She wasn't copyright abusing. She wasn't abusing the system. She just, you know, she had a bad take. And it's okay to have a shitty take, especially on the internet, right? Like, chances are not every every single thing won't hit. Yeah, you're going to say That's something fine. stupid eventually. That's all right. Exactly. Like, it, it happens, right? Like, mm-hmm. you can own it and you move on with it. Now, today we're covering, or at least we're talking about a dude known as uh, Alex Edson, uh, who runs a channel... Uh, or I guess bought a channel known as Business Casual. Now, this channel is kind of like a content farm for business-related shit. You know, like how Lamborghini became a f-ing one of the biggest car brands in the world, like well, so on and so forth. So, f-ing, you know, shit you put on in the background. His only video that he ever made, I think, on that channel was how, why I'm suing YouTube. Now, back in the day, back in the day, like six, eight months ago, pretty much, uh, I was told to like cover this, like people sent it over to me. And the reason I didn't cover it was it took me five minutes to look through this guy's like video, this hour and 40 minute long, like well-produced video where basically he wanted to say that YouTube was like undermining the U S government and working with the fucking Kremlin in Russia. Does he say that in that? Cause I was that sent was this a- to cover it too. And I was watching and I was like, I don't it know doesn't if I'm matter if it. It, like, I, I like, I don't know if he says it, but in the description, he literally puts it out there. Like wow. that's in the description of the video um so anyways the point is he was going after russia today because they used a minute and 30 seconds of his content a minute and 28 seconds sorry in like 28 something instances so if you do basic mental math it's like three seconds per instance they were just using clips i would argue maybe in fair it was only a minute and 28 seconds in total in total of his content being used by russia today okay so he what he did was he filed three copyright strikes on russia today from what I understand. And so the idea here, I actually have to watch that video. Basically, Russia today got filed three strikes. I don't want to say anything out of pocket. I don't know if he did all three strikes. But anyways, they got enough strikes, from what I understand, to be removed off the platform. Three strikes are out. Yeah. Now, in his affidavit to the U.S. government that you can look up, he mentions that they were part of a managed partnership, a content manager, which means it's not three strikes, it's 10 overall. So his idea was YouTube is helping the Russian government by not deleting all of Russia Today's news channels. Now, I don't give a fuck about Russia Today. I don't care about their yeah. fucking, like state-sponsored news network. They could go. They could not go. Whatever. 
Now, YouTube did end up removing Russia today, not because of him or a lawsuit, because they were complying with like you like the sanctions that are currently happening. So it was a wild fucking story. He even tried suing YouTube for, I guess, directly infringing copyright, which YouTube instantly won the case because the moment you upload a video onto YouTube, you're literally giving them a fucking blanket. Like, yep. you're giving them the ability to host your content. That's how it works. So he's a fucking idiot. All right. His copyright case really had no fangs to it. So recently, last week, there was another channel just like his um, uh, called, and shit, I remember the exact name here in my notes real quick. Uh, let me just take it out real fast. He takes notes with this, a this is interesting. So they just, yeah, I forgot that YouTube banned a Russian news station. I feel like, do you guys think yeah, that's Russia right? Today. That doesn't seem fucking right to well, me. Well, the, the reason they banned it was because it was breaking their policy on the Ukraine war and covering violent things. Um, that was a YouTube policy. They removed it. Uh, yeah. Whether or not you agree with it, it's, it, it is what it is. Yeah. They tried coming back. Like literally Russia today tried banavating. Like the Russian <laughs> government literally tried banavating and YouTube kept removing. It was hilarious. So the whole point, the reason I bring that up is when he says that YouTube is working with the Kremlin, boy, they must be the, they must be the shittiest fucking allies then because goddamn, they're throwing them under the yeah, bus. Definitely, it so, definitely doesn't look like that, does it? Yeah. So the channel in question is a competitive cha competitor channel called Magnates Media that makes the same content that uh, that kind of, that he kind of does, um, or he doesn't even make his own content. He bought this channel, right? So he's kind of copyright striking what the previous owner made, from what I understand. So the copyrighted clip, which is seven seconds long in question, is of a public domain image, an image taken 117 years ago. Now, public domain. Everyone can use that image, right? Like, if, and if I want to put that image, you know, in an, like, if I want to, like, edit that somewhere in my video, I can't. I don't have to pay anybody shit. I don't have to worry about copyrights, whatever. So parallax effect, which is a video effect that happens in a lot of videos. It's where, like, you see parts of an image moving, not in relation to another part for the audience watching. There was seven seconds where that effect was used on the same image. Now, Magnates Media added, like, explosions and a bunch of different effect versus business casual okay business casual is copyright striking based on the fact that a similar editing style was used no on the image no and now the, is this going to court or no i don't know if it's going to court yet because uh I what has happened is there are three strikes that occur total now three strikes happen your channel's fucking gone magnates media as by the time we're filming he could have already been gone he could be deleted or he knows? could be back he could be back the thing is, when you file a copyright strike, you're writing a legal notice. You you can't blame YouTube. YouTube has to comply with everything, right? Like, that's yeah. just how the law is. So when you file a counter notice, Magnates Media is effectively filing legal paperwork to say he's in the right. Now, this could go to court. And if it does go to court, then and I really hope Magnates win. The problem is, what I think Business Casual is trying to do is the guy so hard that he apologizes and in situations like this you never apologize to somebody right. you never capitulate you never say oh i'm sorry because when you say you're sorry you're kind of admitting that you f***ed up somewhere yep, that's the magnates problem. never f up so he's got to like stand his ground now i think these in cases are frivolous i think youtube should step in and youtube should stop this from well, going they're liable, right? yeah that's, that's the that problem that works? That's, i wish that's true. they would I, you you kind of wish they would but like even if they can't comply with like the legal request itself, they really need to look at the channel doing it and like the, the abuse that, because it's clear abuse, right? Like you can remove somebody for clearly abusing your tool, right? You yeah. don't have to get involved into the fucking nitty gritty of like each specific case that's being done. This guy's clearly abusing this tool. And that's what I think YouTube should get into because if this goes to court and like, and for some reason, business casual wins, God forbid, then like it really f the entire YouTube system up. Because imagine if we can start copyright striking each other over editing style. Dude, a disaster. Yeah, how do you, I, I don't even understand, how do you own a style? Editors copy That's each other all the time. Like professional like, editors all the time. Like I, I like, so I do this one effect. Uh, Nicholas Diorio does it too. Uh, yeah, fact, we, we all download John's the same wanted. preset, yeah. bro. It's all the well, same exactly. preset we like, use. Like I have this one effect where like, uh, and remember you reached out to me about it too, where I have like me kind of like rotoscoped into like, you know, like I have the text here and then like just me kind of like fake green screened. And I just told you, I'm like, it's a fucking After Effects thing. Anybody can do it. It's like if I went after some other YouTuber for doing that effect and suing them or like copyright striking them, like you don't own that editing style. Like even if like if I covered a screenshot and, and somebody used the same editing style I did to cover it, kind of like how true crime channels use that like 
uh, screenshot effect where like it's kind of like they're filming a TV monitor. Yep. Yeah. It's like if you start a fucking suing each other over that, what the fuck? this whole platform is at risk. Like th- th- this is the problem. So this guy is kind of like I own all rotoscoping. <laughs> like what the? Fuck? Yeah. Like, at what point is so so crazy? I, I, you just own VTubers. You know, you own the green screen effect. I own Photoshop. Nobody can use Photoshop yeah. anymore. <laughs> it's, dude, and, and, the th- and so, like, when this guy goes after people, like, Upper Echelon, he's another YouTuber that covered it. Like, he got, like, in this guy, when he, like, types up a response to intimidate you, it's literally written out of, like, chat GPT. Like, you can f- debunk his arguments quicker than you can. Like, literally a fresh and fit argument is more f***ing coherent than this dude's <laughs> f***ing legal argument for his content. It is that and insane so yeah he's probably one of the worst copyright trolls that i've seen and i think it's really disgusting it's like he's going after a fucking channel that's in competition with him it's like imagine if like nux you're getting three copyright strikes by another fucking vtuber in your lane bro like you're fucking out yeah, like you're, yeah. you're at risk i mean I can it's like really you're getting shut down like, let's be real you can't see that happening <laughs> well, it would be it would be like somebody being like since i was the first vtuber i'm now suing you for vtubing it is kind of like that. Or like, it would be like if Drama Alert was like, you cover the news, I cover the news, you know? Like, you, you can't do that. Yeah, it's like it's like if Keem, like, decided to, like, f-ing bring the, the popcorn. Like, oh, are you also eating popcorn while covering <laughs> the news? Well, f-ing, I, <laughs> guess you're, I guess you're, I guess you like, you can't trademark a f-ing editing style. Like, unless he has a patent for the f-ing, like, parallax effect, then everyone's f-ed, okay? We, we just didn't know that this guy owned this f-ing style, yeah. I guess. So the thing is, if it does go to court, this guy gets laughed out of it. I also think that if this does go to court, this fucking business casual guy is just going to get like laughed out forever because I don't think the court is going to tolerate this du- dude any longer. Okay. Like when you're taking YouTube to, to the courts and the judges are all laughing at you, like, all right, fucking the tard walked in. Okay. Let's fucking have a day today. You don't have that much longer left in the legal system. I just like, dude, I can't imagine if he won though. The president that would set would be like, that's what scares dude, me. That, that's the worst part. That's the worst part. That's the thing with these lawsuits. It's like when you sue somebody over shit like this, if you're if you're setting a precedent that ultimately impacts as negative, that's what I don't like. Like, I I, I fully believe that YouTuber, we all fall off, right? Like, we're all gonna be fucking, we're all gonna be replaced by somebody else. You know? Yeah, of course. Our time goes over. I think if you're on YouTube, you got to make sure that the fucking platform is better than when you started. You know, it's easier to get into, you know, like the, the kind of commentary that we do. I want that preserved for the future. You know, I don't yeah. want people fucking worrying about the fair use of tomorrow and like, oh, we can't criticize others because everyone's so afraid of suing each other. I don't want that to be a precedent. But if people are doing it in the community, they need to be fucking ostracized. Like, this guy's a fucking idiot. Like, remember when uh, H3H3 made his video attacking Keemstar and, like, exposing him? Like, no one had a problem mm-hmm. with him doing any of that. The problem that people had was when he was, like, saying everyone, like, bombard his sponsors, like, get them to drop him, like, stuff like that. And Yeah, to it be just fair, sets the bed. At it that just point, sets, like, a, a, like a ick. I feel like every yeah. big drama since then was people telling other people to go after their sponsors. Like, that just became part of what made drama drama on YouTube. Like, going right. after the sponsors was the knee-jerk fan reaction. It was just, like, a bad precedent that there was no There was, like, a ripple of that for a while, but it, it's was. eased up a lot. That was the big one. Yeah. 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 The, 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 the thing is, it's a really underhanded way of dealing with this kind of content. Yeah. Like, even, like, some of the bigger creators, like, even some of the bigger, like, when Steven Crowder fucking hit, like his like ring camera video dropped out yeah. immediately the people on the daily wire like some of them are fucking kind of insinuating you know to drop crowd or like they're making him like the whole thing the story isn't out there but they were trying to like go beyond just crowd or they were trying to go to, like, yeah yeah i so hate that man like service. here's the thing like the internet i think what makes the internet great is one is that almost everybody's on it and two it's that it's a a place where everyone can interact with each other and if you start going mm-hmm. after people's money then you really are stopping like them being able to engage in conversation for going after their money for everything they say. Yeah. So I think you're kind of taken away from that. Another major point is, remember when like the biggest sin for a YouTuber was bad content? Like remember like the old controversies, like the IDubs content cops or whatever? Yeah. The, yeah. I just watched reason- a content cop where he went after a guy cause he made boring pranks. Oh, I didn't watch that one. But, like, the yeah. point is, all of those videos were essentially making fun of people's content, saying their content was bad. Like, the reason why he made a content cop against Leafy was because Leafy's content was trash. That was his, that was the point of his video. 
He was calling him a mm-hmm. pussy, you know? Like, stuff like that. It wasn't trying to get him canceled. It wasn't trying to get him banned. It wasn't trying to get him deplatformed. It wasn't trying to make him yeah. lose his money. It was just his content sucked. <laughs> like, that, that was the whole point of it. Now, you criticize someone's content and you're the asshole now. If if I ever get to like the point where like I have a real strong stance on like things like deep platforming, I don't think it's okay to just do it out of the blue. If somebody's doing something illegal or they're abusing the system, yeah, to impact criticism of themselves, I think they should be removed. Like Quantum TV, I would never talk about removing that guy until he started abusing the system to shut down any criticism. Like at that point, like I don't give a f- like I, I'm not one of those like absolutists where I'm like, oh, no matter what, you should be on the platform. No, if you're fucking jackass, if you're doing something illicit, like. If you have a bad fucking take, I don't want you removed, really, right? Like, unless what you're doing is kind yeah, of I need, really I need those negatively people. impacting. Yeah, exactly, right? Like, I need the idiots on here. Them. Keep them. No, but like, yeah. uh, Luda, I think the line that you're drawing is really good. Um, I think it's, to, to try to rephrase it, sort of, is it shouldn't be a subjective opinion to deplatform people, right? If it comes yeah. down to your subjectivity, then there's a problem. Then you're just silencing people's speech and their freedom and stuff like that but when there's an mm-hmm. objective abuse of the copyright system that that's objective very i think you absolutely deplatform them like if someone is copyright striking other creators get get them off yeah like they should have the yeah, same like three if, yeah. strike policy that the people that they're attacking have if they false claim three times they should be gone from the platform Especially if it's all videos, like, I get if it's one thing, if it's like, all right, you run a record label and, you know, it's the bots picking up, like, a second of music being playing and, and yeah, whatever. You no. got, like, some issues with that. When it's, like, as, as obvious as, wow, this guy's claimed 10 videos talking shit about him. Hmm, I wonder if he's abusing that. It's like, yeah, he probably is, man. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's fucking exactly. right there. It's like, yeah, th- this guy's just a, this guy's, like, a weird guy, like. And he's he's definitely on somebody like and he's not the, the thing first that, one. The thing that also gets me is like he's not even like a content creator. He just like bought a fucking channel. He's kind of like sitting over there, content striking yeah. like fucking the content he never made. You know, it's like like first off, like you're not even in this fucking community, and then you want to like fuck it up. Like now I have an even more personal vested interest to fuck you. you Has know? Like, any I hate, I hate channel it. been banned for abusing copyright? Honestly, I don't even. I don't think I so. Don't I think, think so. It's any. a policy, but I, nobody's ever been banned, even though there's been. Countless, like everything from Susie Lou to Quantum TV, there's been so many creators that have abused it. Yeah, None Susie Lou got in trouble. So wild to me yeah, because it's like, sister. and she was the biggest abuser of that. Like she would just literally have anime playing, and you would like, like her videos were so <laughs> fucking abusive that you couldn't even fair use react to them because you're like, shit, I have this. Japanese anime constantly playing in the corner. For her, the irony was her entire content was copyright abuse, and then she would copyright strike people complaining and making fair dude, use I, content. Like that—that that was oh, the dude. Irony she there. she was she was an insane, insane fucking character, and and somehow what's fucking funnier is like she's not even the worst offender if you compare it to the fucking people today. You know, like yeah. she she's not even like the worst fucking offender anymore. Like she's she's like. Shit is shit is so fucking different now. Shit is so wilder, but um, yeah, it's uh, I don't know. The copyright shit is weird. I don't know if it'll get better. I hope it gets better. I really hope YouTube enforces their. Fucking, if you abuse this policy, we kick you off the platform. I know. Right? I need I mean, YouTube I hope... to sacrifice somebody, and and people might start taking that a little bit more seriously. That's like the one time if YouTube does that, we'll be like, oh. And congratulations to like, YouTube. That can't be It's was not tight. silencing anyone. Like, I don't want YouTube to <laughs> silence people. I just want you to take the people that are making everyone else's lives harder. Well, not they're because the one, of the things YouTube they would say. just be taking off the people trying to silence others, is all they'd be doing. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know? Well, like, okay, li- like, we get so much, we give YouTube so much shit for not enacting this fucking, their policies in the right way. So it's like the one time they do it, I'm like, listen, just get rid of the fucking one nuisance problem. Okay. We can all agree on that shit, you know? Yeah. Like, <laughs> Yeah, like, Toddy uh, Westbrook, like, I made that video on her, her during that whole, like, James Charles saga. Yeah. And uh, her <laughs> husband went and copyright striped my video. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, a million things. I got an email from her husband being like, I forget what it said. It was fucking stupid. Dude, those makeup, th- those makeup people are fucking nut jobs, bro. Yeah, they're like, wild. They're fucking insane. What was the whole, like, I, dude, my favorite guy on the internet was Jeffree Star back, back during that, like, <laughs> dude, small dude. era. Dude, he was, like... Jeff like Star. taking pictures with like the Nazi flag, bro. <laughs> Dude, you know you know the my favorite Jeffrey video, Star like, is everything Andrew Tate wishes he was. 
<laughs> my my favorite video with like Jeffree Star ever on YouTube, and I apology. love making this video, dude. That apology, you know, oh. he made the yeah. apology video. I'm like, bro, this is like a Far Cry villain reveal. You know, like, <laughs> you know how like the Far Cry villains just like sitting there with like fucking yeah. just, like yeah. thrown and shit, like ready to like kill the world. Oh yeah, dude, he, d- I loved it, dude. It was my favorite, like, dude. He did look like a final boss in that video. Like everyone in the internet, like tries to like meme on the apology videos. Like I'm gonna have a dog in the video. I'm gonna have my mansion in the background. This guy didn't f-ing care. There was no dog. There was like the most extravagant f-ing mansion. Yeah. With, like the most extravagant f-ing sofa I've ever seen. Like this is like like f-ing Kratos' sofa. Like you just like when I clicked the apology video, I'm like, dude, did he even make sofas that f-ing big? Like it's the first thing that hit me. It wasn't. It wasn't what he was apologizing for. I'm like, holy shit, where do you buy that? Like what the. F-? And then, and then the apology comes in, and I'm like, dude, in a normal f-ing world, the shit that this guy was doing should legally get him some consequences. But I almost don't even f-ing care anymore. Like he's just, he's like, he's like a villain. He's the perfect f-ing villain. Oh yeah. And, and like, I remember even back then when James Charles and Toddy were having this shit. Like, what the f- was it over? Like multivitamins? Yeah, like, it was over. It, uh, it was over vitamins, vitamins for your nails. Yeah, basically, oh. she was upset that he uh, he promoted a vitamin brand that was a rival of her brand, and she was hurt personally about it. So Jeffrey Star behind the scenes calls her up and tells her how James Charles is actually the Antichrist, and she has to make a video taking him down. So she ends up making I, this whole video dude, about it. it was like he's tricking straight men into becoming. Well, gay. you know why she made that video though, Toddy. She made that video well, because she vitamins. heard. And she promoted well, the vitamins in that video. Well, she was mad at James for for doing a brand contract with another vitamin company. Yeah. And then um, she ended up hearing a drama channel went to Toddy Westbrook and was like, "Hey, I already talked to James Charles. Do you want to give your side of the story on this thing?" So she freaked out and made a forty five minute video on it, thinking James talked all this shit. When that channel made their video, all James Charles told her about Toddy was like, oh, I'd really want to speak to Toddy first before doing any interviews about it. That's all James did. So she freaked out and made this crazy overreaction I didn't even over something it, James either. never even said. Yeah. And, you know, by the way, when, when she dropped that video about James Charles and then he made the worst apology video in history, you know, on like the plane or whatever, and he was crying his eyes out. Mm-hmm. Uh, and everyone took her side because, like, that—that that was his response. It was just like, oh, 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 oh. just yeah. blathering, right? The only person I, because re- I remember this going down. This is like before my time, really. But the only person was PewDiePie saying, "I don't like Toddy. I think there's something wrong here." Bro, you Pew- know who was feeding Felix all the info though? It was me, bro. No, I was DMing Felix like, bro, this is the facts of the situation. You have to say something. And he was like, no, All right. yeah, yeah. What? We, I had like DMs with him, yes. And he, he messaged me back being like, uh, being like, bro, I watched your video. You're right. There ain't anything there. He's like, all right, tell me what's everything. And he would just send me question. I'd be like, wrong, wrong. None of you didn't do any of this. This is the facts of this. This is what he said. So in the video, he even quotes my video where he's like, uh, look, if because James Charles was accused of turning a straight man gay, but when that guy made a video about how James turned him gay, he was like, Yeah, we were in his hotel room and James asked if I wanted to kiss him, and I said, Yeah, and we made out. It's like, bro, you're not f-ing, you aren't straight then. At least in that moment, you aren't f-ing straight. You weren't tricked. He asked you if you wanted to kiss and you said yes. Well, any, anyway, because you know? I, I remember that's wild to me that you fed him all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. For the seriously. longest time, I was like, wow, I cannot believe he actually got the story straight. Like, he was the only one that was saying that type of no, thing. No, I was the one, bro. Oh that guy's God. fucking stolen glory, bro. <laughs> well, I mean, to be fair, he ratioed you to a no. million. But, oh, but, he did do that. Yeah. But, oh, my God. Willie, but you're that, a But that situation where he ratioed me or whatever... Is the same situation that led us to having DMs for that Toddy Westbrook story, yeah? That's incredible. And it wasn't sto- stolen glory. I was literally begging him to say something because I was like, bro, this guy's getting f- for no reason and he's not saying anything because he's just scared, you know? Dude, that was insane. Anyway, mm-hmm. PewDiePie got banned off Twitch. <laughs> Did you see that? That just happened yesterday. Dude, that was right. Dude, wait, wasn't he allowed to He was. They, they licensed shit? it apparently and they re-reviewed all of the videos before they auto-played. According and, um, to Cinnamon Toast Ken, who like works with PewDiePie, I guess he was like uh, Twitch pan picked the videos they wanted to play on their website, and uh, they still banned him, even though they picked the videos to play. Losers. Did he? Uh, did he? Um, uh, 
trying to I'm trying to like figure this. Did the bridge video play by accident? <laughs> no, no, it wasn't. It wasn't. That would have been crazy, bro. <laughs> no, what Twitch employee did that? That would be first insane. of all. That was a live bro, stream. The Twitch that wasn't a video. Fucking <laughs> <don't be> smart. <laughs> Yeah, I Doc, that was still such a wild boy. moment. That, dude, that was my like wildest moment. Like that day, I woke up and like I saw that on Twitter, like the clip. I'm like, dude, there's just no way. Like, listen, I like Felix, but like, dude, dude, he like, ripped that one from like, the grave, bro. Like that was like, I'm like, I'm like part of me kind of like sits down, I'm like, did he just say? Like, it has to be on purpose. Like, there's no way you can be a creator and be streaming. Like, look, when I'm streaming, I try not to say, you know, rich as much as i can okay? yeah i try to like level, like i level all that shit down because it pisses some people in the audience off you know what i mean they're like mm -hmm. you know, how could you make fun of me and i'm like listen all right it is what it is <laughs> no, <laughs> equal opportunity no, but, <laughs> oh my god bro <laughs> but like but like when he goes out there and he's like just playing a video game and he drops the n-word i'm like first off you gotta know you're streaming second of all i'm like dude i've never been so mad at another guy in a video game that i'm like you know guys this fucking n-word I don't, I don't think he was necessarily <laughs> mad. I think it was just one of those things where uh, I think clearly, like with I his think... with his friends offline, they were just saying that a lot, and it got to a point where it didn't yeah. mean anything. That, so then he, yeah. you know, like I, like I had an Australian buddy in college where he would constantly say. So after a while, like, dude, you just started mm. saying all the time. All right, editor, you gotta set you yeah, that. Editor, you gotta you gotta blur that the one. They they treat yeah they treat that like it's the n word. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, all right. they treat, yeah. questionable, but they okay. Treat, yeah. Dude, listen, I, I thought the same thing, too. When I had a little, like, spat with Dark Viper, he used that word all the time. Mm -hmm. It was the only time I'm like, dude, okay, let me, like, I uploaded the video once, and I'm like, hold on, let me delete the video and, like, go through every time he said the C word. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, and then I'm like, dude, it's so dumb that I have to, like, go through this whole video where he said so much inflammatory shit, yet I'm specifically finding this one word. <laughs> like, it's the racial <laughs> slur, you know? Well, in, yeah. my, in my latest video with uh, the red yeah. pill stuff, like, do you, do you know how you upload and it could be like automatically green or automatically yellow? Yeah. Mine yeah, was yeah. automatically yellow every time and that's because the bot's dinging something. It was because yep. Myron mm -hmm. said gay. That was literally it. No I'm like, way. man, that's so that seems wrong to me that like, like, like there are gay people. Like, what do you mean? We can't say that word. That seems weird. That is you know? weird. Yeah, it's uh the the thing about like why you can't say gay when you pointed that out. I was like, there's actually been like the people have called out YouTube for like being a bit anti LGBT. Yeah, because think about of, it, like, you're banning that, yeah. a group of people, like the word for that group. Yeah, like literally, like if you can't use the word gay, like what are you allowed to do? But then I but then I kind of realized I'm like, does YouTube consider this to be like a political thing? Like I thought these people just existed, right? Like what is the consistency in like the the politics, right? Like. I don't know the, the thing the thing with like being gay or whatever on the internet or like trans and shit it's like dude I, if I was like gay or trans bro, I'd hide the f*** out of that if I was like on the internet because the internet's so mean about it. it bro that's why like these people find dude, that like, one f***ing thing and just try and like bully you for it dude isn't it so wild how like so in the the right side is against cancel culture right mm -hmm. and then like the moment Mr. Beast's friend comes out to be trans bro who the f*** is going through like 10 years worth of tweets to find out the one Sneak bad up. one exactly i'm yes. like wait so aren't you like against the whole like cancel culture like aren't you against like digging up the past and using that to sway the future i'm like but you're doing the same thing to this person so i'm like where's your inconsistency or if you like, look at jeremy's like the quartering jeremy's shorts they're all just i'm not even kidding they're all clips of jeremy saying something without even knowing what you could find it because it's like the same clip of jeremy being like I think this is inappropriate for school. And it's just him saying that. And then they pay any clip of any uh, like LGBT teacher in the background mm -hmm. saying anything. So it'll just be a teacher being like, yeah, you know, if kids want to talk to me about that, I'm open because they need like, uh, you know, maybe they just need to vent about it. And I'm just there to be like an ear or whatever. And, and Jeremy will be like, yeah, that's inappropriate. And it's like Jeremy... Literally, and is then, admitted and then, to and then copy pasting at, his experience. Yeah, like his, you, you also you also look at the classroom, and it's like, what is a grade? Oh, tenth grade. That's inappropriate. Dude, Those kids are too young. High school, I'm like, what bro. the? Yeah, tenth, eleventh grade. Bro. <laughs> yeah, like tenth, eleventh grade. You're like pretty much entering your adulthood. Like, what the f is going on here? Yeah, but like uh, a lot of those shorts, like, and it's not just like the quartering. It was like, but isn't a lot that of, dumb like, trying to like shorts. cancel the teacher? Like, literally, like taking their job away? Well, yeah, because they're like for them the listen like it. 
this is why I wish people on the internet were just honest about their belief. Like, if you just told me that you didn't like gay people or trans people, like, I would have more respect for you yes. than if you were trying to hide that and, like, game the system and still, like, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, if you don't like a certain group, just say it, you know? Like, just be out with it, okay? Like, if you got hate in your heart, let it out, okay? Let me fucking know. Because I, I, like, if you're actually this kind of a person, I don't want you to, like, and put the put the mask on. I don't really care. Yeah, I'd rather be able um, to point to that group and be like, "Look, there they are. Like, there's the homophobic people. There's the racist people. Whatever, you know." Yeah, and then like when you call them out, it's like, "Oh, are you like a lip tart?" Like, literally, I, if I if like, <laughs> and I and I've had this whole thing where like I, I literally like went with Chris, like with like uh, Mr. Beast's friend. It's like. You know, I'm like, oh, it's cool that he's like trans. And I was like, oh, I can't believe you're a leftist mood. I'm like, yeah, I guess it's leftist to just acknowledge that this guy exists, right? That, like, that happens clearly. whenever you like pick on a yeah. side, though. Like I've been picking on the red pillars. So like their thing is like, man, I didn't realize you were such a, a liberal, Willie. It's like, not really. Like, These guys ever, are yeah. saying insane shit. Like you don't need to be a fucking liberal to realize this shit's retarded, man. Bro, you don't like the red pill yeah. podcast? I didn't know you liked dick. Dude, these guys are saying the only way to get a woman is to make six figures. Look at the majority of people that get married don't make six figures. It's just not true. Like, well, they're just ignoring everything. Can we I, can we call them stupid for that without me being a big liberal? I don't know. That's a pretty I liberal mean, thing to like, say. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> bro, you're like, listen, dude, what are you drinking your soy milk? Like, uh, I guess fuck, so, like, man. Yeah, dude. Like, you got, you got, like what, are you going to move to California now, Willie? Like, I, yeah, I'm moving to San Francisco. <laughs> Dude, I, I love this is what this is my favorite thing about like the United States. It's like so as somebody that's not an American, right? I think like, oh damn, dude, if I was American, bro, I could like go anywhere and like I have like all the coolest cities in the world. You know what I mean? Like if I was an American and I had to like have like an out in nationalist content with like contest with like yeah. some other country, I'd win every time. Like if I was going up against somebody from the UK, I'm like, what are you gonna go to London? That's wow, it. one place. Dude, I could go to Los Angeles, I could go to Dallas, I could go to New York, I could go mm. to Seattle. And then when I go to America, I'm like, yo, like people from Texas hate the people from California, like it's Pakistan and India. India, China, and Japan. I'm like, dog, <laughs> you're a part of the same f***ing country, okay? Dude, I don't, I don't know what you're saying. People from so Texas mad. are different, though. Like, people from Texas and people from Ohio, of all places, Ohio are so proud they're from Texas and Ohio. Dude, you know? Ohio, dude, Ohio is like a f***ing different, like, universe, though. Like, as somebody that goes it's there, like, shit, every though. year. Ohio's shit. Dude, dude, this is, like, so me and Jen have this, like, we had, the, we had a, like, our, we had an argument, and I say argument because, like, our arguments aren't, like, actual arguments so me and her were talking about like shitty food right like mm -hmm. so steak and shake right she's like steak and shake is shit food and i'm like it's you kind just of haven't had though. good steak and but that's what i told her i'm like you haven't had good steak and shake because your family's from like you know in orange county like you're like ritzy like la people you know it's like yeah your steak and shake is like bougie steak and shake dude, you know what Midwest i mean like steak and they, shake they, hits different yeah. Like they got, they got, dude, they got real meat in California. They got like fucking regulations and shit <laughs> in Ohio. Bro, I don't know if that's real beef or if it's rat. I don't, bro, I, if it's real beef, amazing. So like, I'm telling her like, you got to go to Akron, Ohio. You guys know where Akron is? Nope. I've driven through it's it. A, yes. It's a, it's, it's a shithole, right? Like yes, it's top it's, 10 shitholes in the country. It's literal trash. I told her, I'm like, told her, I'm like, listen, if you want good in steak and shake you go to akron ohio because like those are the that's where it gets made right shitty food tastes better in yeah, shitty then, places then they like they drop it on the floor and it's like you may think in most places that may be gross but that's 30 years of grease and seasoning falling on the floor yeah mixed like, with some like, ohio dirt the most like like breeds all sorts like, of good like, crops every year you know like like she took she took me to this fucking like and Whataburger in like Sunset Boulevard, and I'm like, honey, there's like Hollywood signs. Okay, this is bougie. Where's the Where's the taste of nicotine from like yes, the fucking cigarette yes. that's falling into the burger? The lady that's like, never washed her hands. That. Yeah, yeah. Like, like I'm telling her, I'm like, okay. So she she wanted to go to like New York and everything too, and I'm like, all right, listen. If we're gonna go to New York State, we're gonna go to New York State proper we're gonna go to rochester we're gonna go to like the real shithole sides we're not gonna go to the city first we're gonna leave that to the end you know that's where the good stuff is yeah we're gonna go to like the shitty upstate we're gonna go to like where can bump nowhere <laughs> like you know the one diner that like mm -hmm. serves we country country new there. york is basically just the Dude. midwest it's like all the, the fucking worst I was just, but I was best just fast food is right there 
I was just in New York in the middle of nowhere. Okay, I was going for a hike. Anyway, on the way to the hike that I was going on, there were like these little shacks. And one of them was selling all these weird statues of all these naked people pissing in each other's mouths. So obviously I had to stop to see what the antique shop was actually selling because I thought that was amazing, right? So I stop (laughs) and uh, I go. I'm with a a friend, my brother and a friend. And we go go to the store. The store is closed. And there's a big sign on the store that says, you know, no masks, no business. We like we're this is very important. We need masks. Otherwise, we don't want to even like see you. It's you know, you're killing people if you're not wearing a mask, like a very vicious sign. Literally next door is a gun store. Okay, (laughs) the gun store is an even bigger sign that says if you wear a mask, you're a pussy and we'll shoot you on sight. Oh man, dude. That, that's 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 the thing that I like that sums about it like up in our, America. Yeah, America. Dude, dude, that, but that's the thing. Like that's why I said I'm like, if you want like good shitty food and you want a good shitty experience, you gotta go to the Midwest. You gotta go yeah. to the shittiest part. Because I told her, I'm like, she's like, why would I ever want to go to Ohio? Like her dad is like, uh, I've never been to Ohio. I'm like, dude, you guys are so fucking bougie, bro. Like you go to like the nicest, you go to the nicest country clubs, like. And you gotta come out to the shithole Midwest, okay? You gotta like, like I told you guys, them, like, you guys go gotta Ohio, come hang out with us. We'll go to some real dinky, yeah, dunky bars. I, I, I like the best. You know, you know my, you know my best experience out of Ohio was like, so back then didn't have any f-ing real money to my name. I the most fancy place I stayed at was Red Roof Inn, okay? <laughs> yeah, I've you been know to the a best part, but through the Red Roof Inn, everyone will tell you this place Don't is look the at best. The like, don't look at a car don't, look at, don't the look at the black light like i told her i'm like i went out there for a weekend with my buddy kyle and like we knew that there was at least two meth labs in the place you, you could <laughs> you could go. you could smell the chemicals you know what i mean you could smell the breaking bad and like out of the two uh, two out of the three nights we were there at least a cop unit was like there sirens on everything Good. you could just see it you know what i mean like it was that was the vibe You're like safe. i told her i'm like <laughs> I'm like, you know, the best part is like, I, I told her, I'm like, I had to make sure I had my tetanus shot before I went to Ohio because we went to a f-ing, like one of those abandoned malls. Now she's like, oh, I have abandoned malls here. I'm like, an abandoned Californian mall is far different than an oh, abandoned Ohio mall. It's still mall. nicer the, than the, every mall in Ohio. The abandoned malls in Ohio look like the last of us malls, you see. Yeah, like, like okay, the abandoned Ohio mall, and there was one mall that I went to, and it was near Dayton, where they had, like, a game store. It was the only store Dayton in the entire mall. Dayton and Dayton. The only f-ing store Let's available go. in Dayton. So, like, otherwise, the whole mall was empty. Like, literally, you could walk into it, and it's like... And escape from Tarkov, like Fallout 4. <laughs> like, nobody exi- Like, I'm sure that if you walk down the wrong, like, section of this mall, a crackhead would attack you. It was like, dude, it, it, they'd be like Pokemon sightings, you know, like a wild crackhead <laughs> yeah. fight or run. <laughs> Dayton, Ohio so, is the Ohio of like them all, except it's sexually <laughs> transmitted diseases. <laughs> yeah. uh, Dayton's like the most Iho- Ohio city of them all. They had a football team, a professional football team, and they were called the Dayton Triangles. Like, Damn. Damn. they are the worst. That's the the that city is. If Ohio had Ohio inside of it, it would be Dayton, Ohio. Damn. Dude, Ohio is like literally like when people think about it, like they want to escape Ohio, and I'm like, I- I'm glad I don't live there. Obviously, like I wouldn't want to, but I'm so glad it's close to where I live that I can, if I wanted to drive down for the weekend and just feel better about where I live. Yeah, I was there, man. Like. And just go for it. That whole stretch, like Pennsylvania, Ohio, Michigan, the Rust Belt, New yeah. York. The exactly. It's like if you if you ever feel bad about your situation, <laughs> just drive through like the shittier parts. <laughs> You'll instantly feel better. Like those yeah. are that is some working man part of town. Okay, it's but a working man time, part of town where the jobs left forty years ago. So it's exactly it's really but, tough to look at. But but the thing is, people in Ohio too is like they're also pretty friendly as well. In in most cases, the like United if you're States, East, people are really nice in the U.S. Yeah, like people like shit on the, like the people like, outside at least. Yeah. The, the people well, on the, the people outside of the U.S. I group. feel like are are evil, but the people like outside, those guys are generally really yeah. nice. Yeah. Well, I, 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 I love this one part where like I literally had like like a mom like like this 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 like mom kind of came up and like helped me like with a potential like rabies problem that I had in Ohio once. And it was really what, endearing. What rabies problem. Rabies okay, so, so, OK. OK. So so what happened was like this is like years ago, like back in 2015, we went to Ohio and we were like, oh, shit, let's go to like one of these crackdown haunted places or something. 
And so we find this one like shed that's been abandoned for like 30 years. Like it's out of Red Dead 2 or something. Yeah. And I walk into it and I step on a fucking nail and it pierces. So I'm like, oh. A tetanus. Yeah, that's, not, that's, that's, tetanus that's not rabies. Yeah, that's not rabies. Whatever the fuck. Like, it's not like a raccoon bitch or some shit. Or something. All right, like... whatever. For, okay, whatever. It, it's a fucking like, it, it's, a, it's a fucking disease. It, it's an Ohio level of, oh, it's man. Ohio tetanus, okay? It's so guess tetanus what? Is you, know, you go to Ohio, you yeah. catch scarlet rot. Yeah. It's oh, a very Ohio, oh, yeah, exactly. It's like scarlet rot from Elden Ring. So like, as soon as I stepped in the nail, I'm like, I gotta go to a CVS pharmacy. And thank God it's Ohio because they have a CVS pharmacy everywhere. Mm -hmm. And somebody's got to buy their Rite Aid booze from someplace. Yeah. So we go over there. I walk in and I'm like, I'm like younger. So I'm like picking up this alcohol and like, like I'm looking at like peroxide. And I'm like, I don't know. Which one do I take? This like fuck lady comes up. It's like, oh, sweetie, did you step on a nail? Like she fucking instantly she knew what happened. I'm like, yeah. And she's like, oh, you want the peroxide? The alcohol is going to fuck up your skin. You want the peroxide? I'm like, okay. How many people you, have I walked in there with the, where she can recognize somebody immediately who has stepped out <laughs> Dude, of the I wasn't even like limping. I was just like looking at alcohol and peroxide. And I'm like, oh, okay, sure. I guess I'll fuck it for what this. The so I'm like, I'm like outside and, and there's, it's Ohio. So every CVS has like the crackhead alley. And they're all just looking at me while I'm like pouring half a bottle of peroxide. They're looking to drink that, man. <laughs> They can get fucked up on that peroxide. <laughs> dude, they, dude, that's the best play because they'll, they'll find a new way to get high. That's yeah. another thing like, I got to tell Jen. I'm like, your people, you got like government like fucking regulated weed and all this shit. Like over there, they're fucking coming up with a mouthwash. Over there, dude, bro, over there, like every crackhead's a fucking chemist. Okay. They're, they're like a fucking <laughs> dude. Like they just know what to do. They know exactly how to produce these chemicals. All like, we needed some grade A Sherwin Williams. We're good, dude. We're good to go. <laughs> Like, like, I'm like, I'm telling her, I'm like, dude, Home Depot, you know why they locked the paint thinner behind the metal crate? <laughs> you figured it out. <laughs> like, like, there's the reason why. <laughs> like, I told her, I'm like, you will never experience good, like, coffee or Dunkin' Donuts or some shit until you notice that the drive through window is a bulletproof window. Like, yeah, man, I, like, I've got the fast food things where they got the bars. I'm like, who's the mother? Like, go through the front door <laughs> if you're going to rob this place. He's going through the drive through window. <laughs> this seems absurd. Well like, well, like, it's not just that. It's like, if the whole front door is a window, if you're going to break a window, you might as well break I'm the one that's I'm going the door. I'm not breaking through the drive through yeah. Yeah. And, then, and then and then like and then like maybe the alarm doesn't trip him like have you looked around this place it's a liquor store and a gun shop the cops don't fucking care they don't it's Ohio the here. alarm trips it'll take them two hours to yeah. show up anyway dude, dude, I like the, the thing so my rule is like so I've had the same experience like in Texas or whatever when we were like driving back home to our Airbnb I have a rule like I, I, I told her this too I'm like if you ever drive in a place and you haven't seen a fucking squat car for more than 10 minutes you're actually in a really bad part of town. <laughs> like, cause when, like when the fucking law enforcement has stopped giving, like when it, cause I'm telling her, like, that's a no man's land. Like you were in the no man's land. That is true. Of, of, of that that is so true. Yeah. Cause I, I lived we in were, Chicago forever. And if you were, if you were in a nice town, cop car fucking every, if you're in a mm -hmm. shit town where it's like fucking stuff's going down, there's nothing. There's no police ever. Yeah. Like the thing, like when you run the news, like Twitter and like all this po political shit comes out, they make it look like Chicago, New York, and all these like cities are like hell holes. And I'm like, you've never been there. Like I've been to Chicago so many fucking times, like Illinois. I'm like, if you're in the nice part of Chicago, because everyone it's makes the it sound nicest, like there's cleanest a cleanest city in Chicago. if you're in the good part. Like, well, people make it sound like there's a shooting in Chicago every 10 minutes. I'm like, well, hold on. How big is Chicago? All right. There are some shitty parts of town. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. I'm sure you'll hear a fucking gun going off there. I want to hear you. I want I want to see you say the same when you hear it going off in a nice part of town, you know, where you see like McLarens and cops and shit like vibe is totally fucking different. You know, when I was in Houston, dude, every fourth fucking car had like a bullet hole in the back. OK, like and they insane. were just treating the shit Miles. like target practice. Yeah. But like the, the best part was when I was in Houston. So we were staying at a place called Alabama Court, right? And so the car that I rented, I put in Alabama court and I just pressed the first option. I'm like, how many Alabama courts could exist in Houston, right? <laughs> so like we're driving home and like in the last 10 minutes of the journey, I'm like, okay, so the street lights have gone away. There is no <laughs> Texas Ranger on the road. And then the final straw was like the fucking Elden Ring boss walking around Houston, like with a fucking <laughs> cane and shit. I'm like... Yeah, we got to drive the fuck up <laughs> out of here. Like, this is the only time where I, like, broke every road law to escape the area. Because, like, 
there was a moment where like literally it turned into the walking dead like crackheads were just like roaming around and like scuttling up trees and shit i'm like wait a minute we gotta get them yeah that's actually such a true observation it's when there isn't a uh you know a police every 10 minutes yeah. that there's a problem dude like in, in israel it's like you have soldiers all over the place right like mm-hmm. especially in like jerusalem right there's soldiers yeah. everywhere they're all carrying like machine guns and pistols and like all sorts of stuff like, i mean both mm-hmm. not just one or the other right they're all incredibly suited up at all times yeah that's the good parts <laughs> you want to see those people around you know it's like it's yeah. when there aren't any soldiers that that's when that's when it gets spooky sometimes it's it, it's like the same if you go to like india or like any part in south asia like pakistan or something right like the moment you start seeing like the dudes with the camouflage and shit on it's like yeah i'm in the okay parts the yeah, moment right? you don't see that it's like yeah fuck, i'm screwed <laughs> like dude like it turns into like fucking literal like gta 5 level like a way of like guns <laughs> going off like cars driving like I, i'm like that that's just that's just like the one observation i have but like i said like if you go to like any part in like the rust belt it's like Again, that that observation you got to fucking hold on to. Like, if you don't see Ohio State trooper anywhere, you all right. You're in a real dude. I made a drive from from Illinois down to uh, South Carolina. Right, it's like a 15 mm-hmm. hour drive, and I ended like halfway through. I'm like, man, I really need to to go to bed. I go ahead and I pull up a town. It's on the border of Ohio and West Virginia, and I'm like, all right, now I'm gonna go pull over in this town and, and sleep. I go stop the car, and I'm looking around, and I'm like. It is one in the morning and there's so many people just walking around the streets in the pitch black. There isn't a single street light. And then I was like, well, maybe I'll get some gas and go. And I look at the gas station. I'm like, this gas station has like been closed for like 10 years. And I'm like, all right, I'm going to look up this town. I pull up the town, dude. Yeah. It was like the most dangerous town in all of Ohio. I'm like, all right, I'm going to get back on the road. I drive to the next town in West Virginia. I look it up. (laughs) It is the second most dangerous town in all of West Virginia. I'm like, all right, I'm going to drive one more town. I drive one more town. I, before I even pull in, I'm looking it up to see what it is. says. The most dangerous town in West Virginia. I'm like, what is this stretch of road? Where is like the fucking... <laughs> like, it's the three most it's dangerous like, it's like, towns. It's like when you open up one of those open world games and shit, and you look at the <laughs> map, and it's like enemy level in this location. Yeah. Dude, you're like Her. level two, and they're like level four. That one West Virginia town, I looked it up. That one West Virginia town, I ha- I'll have to find it. It literally was per capita the most dangerous, had the most murders in in the entire country. Like, dude, there was like, if you were a woman, there was a, there was like a, a three oh out gosh. of four chance you've been raped. I was like, what? What? I'm There's like, somebody, no way. somebody come three here. Like, somebody. 75%? I like, yeah, I swear to God. Like, I was dude, like, what? that's like Afghanistan seven, in, difficulty. I was like, send in the National Guard. We got to do something. <laughs> So, like, I, I, you, someone, someone, yeah, when you, I love when people like give you like really skewed statistics. It's like someone says how, how, like, you know, it's much more dangerous, as obvious, it's so much more common for women to get than men. And then someone's like, well, technically, if you include all in prison, then more men are than women. It's like, yeah, but I don't know if that's like really valid. Dude, yeah, dude, bring up, bring this bring this was like a fucking PUBG battleground of black people like, <laughs> murking each other and it's getting smaller yeah, like, and smaller. Did you, did, you, did, you look up, did you look up that town in a police force? Did, like, was it just one I, dude? I don't, I don't know. Like, it was one of these towns where as you're driving by, you know how there's like lights in a town to like signify like, like yeah, we live here? Like, dude, yeah, this <laughs> town might as in the pitch black was like a cornfield. I would have never known like shit was existed like it, that, there was that no fucking water tower the mandela catalog i'm pretty dude, sure that, they're that, all that, living off like just mountain dew there like this dude crazy. This, <laughs> the, 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 it's like the town has like literally no police response it's like they just <laughs> hope that there's an fbi agent that drives through there every once in a while and pulls people over bro no, but like the, the thing is so many towns exist like that dude like you know you, you you play the game silent hill you're like shit in some capacity on the east coast that exists like that's here like that's in new england yeah <laughs> a town like covered in fog and shit and nobody going through it that is so that exists here like there's probably a legit hellhole like a liminal space you drive through but it's wild that you had like a, that actually could be a great a great video yeah. it was the worst stretch of road i have ever fucking like seen on my life in my life and then it's like i was so fucking tired muda i was like ready to die i pulled over <laughs> in a trucker shop stuff so it's like all these semi trucks <laughs> and then like a ford focus <laughs> like, i was like i don't give a 
bro. Like, I'm you like, pull, these you are pulled the into, you pulled into where, yeah, You pulled into, like, where the PUBG guys are outfitting and shit, <laughs> like, <laughs> ready to go in. I was like, dude, yeah, I, like, dude, none of the truckers <laughs> even stopped in these towns. That's how I knew it was must have been f***ed up. Oh, damn. That's kind of, that, it's so wild, dude, because if you think about it, it's like where people probably go, like, you know, it's like, how do you not want to get caught for murder or some shit? You just go to that part of town. Like, nobody's going to look for you. It's not a f***ing cop that ever drives through that stretch of road. I'm like, who's like, even finding uh, out that these women are getting <laughs> and then doing nothing yeah, about like, it? Like, yeah, yeah, that's even <laughs> what's worse. What's going like, on here? Who's, yeah, who's doing the census review there? Like, the crime fact checking? It's like, yeah, this place is... Dude, dude, these towns, I swear to God, there is not a McDonald's. There is The gas stations aren't, like, a shell or anything. It's like... The grocery store is the gas station. Like you walk in there and there's a f-ing cabbage. You're like, you know, another who's sign of knowing heads that heads of cabbage and carrots at the gas the, station. I, I think another great metric beyond the police station. I'm so great. This conversation towards the end of the podcast has shifted. Like we're actually providing good life advice here. Okay? Yeah. Like, like if you're in, you're, listen, if you're in the East coast, here's the thing. If you don't see a cop for more than 10 minutes, you're in a bad place. If you don't motherfucking see a Walmart, you're you're not in civilization or anymore. Or McDonald's <laughs> or like anything. Yeah. If like, the dude, gas station got, has yeah. no brand, dude. If you don't if you don't see a Pizza Hut, you're in a bad place. And you don't know why? Because Pizza Hut delivers to the fucking space station, dude. <laughs> if they're out there in mother outer space and they're not in your neck of the woods, you're not in civilization. Okay, you're in like some fucking Sonic Land. Okay, like it doesn't <laughs> exist, dude. Like you're right. If a McDonald's doesn't show up there, like dude, I'm pretty sure in the SpaceX shuttles have McDonald's built into that shit, dude. Like. The fact that your town doesn't have the most basic amenities, like, I, I, I honestly wonder. Dude, they don't that have like a water there, tower. I swear to fucking God, like, do I don't you know wonder, how these like, people survive. Like, do you think if you live there, do, do they even know that they're from the United States of America? Like, you know when you go to like, you know when National Geographic covers like those African and like Amazonian tribes that have been yeah, like disconnected yeah. from society? That's you what think I think. People, yeah, like, do you think we should, like, go in there and, like, find somebody that's, like, you know, we tell them about, like, world affairs. Like, we tell them, like, oh, you know what's going on in California? And they're, like, what? You tell me they found gold there finally? Like, what? They probably don't know <laughs> Vietnam ended. Like, they're still. <laughs> you mention Afghanistan and it's, like, what is that, next to Vietnam? Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like dude, I, I wonder, like, how, like, what the education must be in a place that's so, like, and disconnected like that's the kind of stuff that i want to see like even in canada like most of canada is uninhabited you know like yeah it's literally where i live like 50 percent of the people live below this in like one line like in toronto quebec and shit like that and then you got vancouver the whole middle of canada is just like dead like you you could literally get away from any crime in the world by living in that central section in canada. no one's hunting you down yeah. no one gives a they don't even know it exists. I don't even think you can get to certain parts in Canada, like even in the prairies, because it's just <laughs> inhabitable. Like, literally. <laughs> yeah, literally. So it's like, like my buddy, he lives in Saskatchewan, like in the middle of Canada. And we had this talk. It's like, yo, how many people live in your city? He's like, uh, 400,000. And I'm like, dude, that's f***ed up. My town has half a million. And we call that shit a town yeah. here, dude. We don't even call that a f***ing city, bro. 400,000 like, is big, though. That's a lot of people. Yeah, yeah it's, but it's like, not, it's that's no, what no, they no, call it's... a... Yeah, that's what they call a major city out there. Though. Where, that's where like I live, we call it. We call where I live a city, and it's like a hundred thousand. So yeah, but like, f-ing, they're, they're like that's like that's their capital. So I'm like, what the f- else you got out there? Shit. Yeah. But um, you know, uh, I mean, I would be depressed if all I had to see was like weed all day, like just literal corn and shit. It's like, <laughs> like I'd be just the bean field. Yeah, dude, that's what they got out there, and that's what like the East Coast is full of, though. Except like. Like, even you're talking about the most dangerous parts of the East Coast where like 75% thing happens. Like, they don't even have meth labs out there, dude. They don't have shit, dude. They don't got nothing. Dude, they don't have anything. All you can do is go, go. You don't even, you can't even afford a gun to go hunt. You gotta go just, that's all you got to do on the weekend. Yeah, you gotta go like, you gotta capture squirrels and shit with like spears and like, like bows and arrows. Yeah. I feel so bad. Like the one guy, statistically, there is one person out in that part of the woods, like that town you're talking about that has satellite internet and he puts on this podcast and he's like, oh my God, they're f-ing talking about my place. And <laughs> like the like, next 20 minutes, he's like, yeah, they're, they're, they're not wrong. That guy's <laughs> like, don't knock until you try it, man. <laughs> no, no, that guy who's listening to the podcast is like, wow, this fresh and fit guy sounds pretty cool. Maybe I come on that I'll show them how it's done. He would you think fresh and, f- and fit is too liberal. That's what they say. 
<laughs> She's like, they're a little too progressive around these like, women. Bro, they drug, <laughs> they drug women? Yeah. Bro, that's why I have a lasso. <laughs> <laughs> I, said, like, I said bear traps, bro. Drugs are for dude. Like, he's, he's like sitting over. It's like we got a perfectly good set of train tracks next to the saloon, <laughs> dude. <laughs> <Like> <laughs> waiting on. <laughs> yeah, there's there's got to be parts of the U.S. where like that shit's just like straight Red Dead Redemption for them, dude. Like they got saloons and like doctor's offices and snake oil oh, and shit. Man. But yeah, like, we, yeah, they probably they probably would think he's liberal though, because it's like, oh damn, dude! Like their first question would be like, wait, they can actually vote there? Like, I mean, no, but but like part of part of that part of the country would look at like their race, the fresh and fit guys, and be like, now hold on a minute, hold on a minute. Yeah. yeah. When did we start passing rights around <laughs> like they were candy? <laughs> I don't know, dude. But moral of the story, ladies and gentlemen: um, copyright abuse people should be removed off the platform. Red pillars are uh, some of the dumbest sometimes. people out there. I would say they're they're harmful, very harmful idiots. They are. Um, yeah, I think I I think they're harmful just because they're preying on like people when they're at their lowest. Like that's kind of like their base. It's like the the people when they're at their worst. I've had family members, and I've talked about this before. Um, I've had one close family friend that um, I used to talk to on a daily basis, but because they went down the uh, red pill route and they become a red pill. Uh, team member, if you will, for a certain individual. Uh, I don't know if this person is going to watch this podcast, but whatever. I don't give a f- about starting internal family drama anymore. They, uh, I-, I just don't talk to them. Like you can't f- sit here and like pay for a course and look back at your life and realize you're not really doing shit out of it. You know, like and anytime you try to correct them, they'll tell me that I- I'm too uptight and I've got my shit together. And I'm like, I, I just don't know how to reach people like that. Like it is what it is. You got to let people like, just like figure it out on their own up for a little you bit. Know? Exactly. Um, but the thing is, I do believe at the end of the day, we shouldn't be totally demonizing the viewer base too. We should kind of like, one thing that I hate is when like these red pill guys are allowed to like feed all this shit to like the youth. But then, like, we're just criticizing the content. We're not giving an out to some of these people, right? Like, yeah, we should be saying, like, some of the information they tell you is good. But also, you shouldn't jump down this, like, pipeline of misogyny and, like, and only dating women if they're breedable. Like, that's <laughs> some psycho shit, okay? Like, you, you're, like, you're um, not a honestly, caveman. As far as good <laughs> advice goes, you have to take, like, you know, marriage advice and, and stuff. Because that's what these guys are giving you. You know, you find your woman. They're you not even married, down, bro. And they're giving right? marriage advice. Exactly. No, right. they're like, you the, want, like you that get one good just... marriage advice. Find someone yeah. with a happy marriage. All right. Get yeah. marriage advice like, from that dude. Like just pearly things. I swear to God. She talks about like fucking women and shit all the time. Like, where's your man? Like, where's your fucking like kids? Where's your like, family? Like, th- why are you giving this just, advice to people? It drives me crazy. And like, from the perspective of like the viewer, like a kid that's watching this, that they go down that rabbit hole. It's like, well, other people are watching him. I guess th- this is someone I could listen to. You know, I, I, I've had people from like me. that age group on a stream of mine literally say, Muda, I'm like in 18 and I've already had a breakup. What do I do? I'm like, bro, you're 18. Why are you dating somebody, dog? Like, fucking live your life up for like six, seven years and then get it, get up with a relationship, I guess. I don't know. You got so Why, many more like, problems in your life than yeah. your girlfriend, yeah, bro. Yeah, like, like, okay, your girlfriend broke up with you. Okay, what are you doing right now? Oh, uh, you know, I'm kind of debating if I should go to school. I'm like, dude, get your bread up. Make some money first and then and go out into the world of dating shit. I don't know. I think right. like part of it though, Muda, like I don't think it's necessarily like, oh, there's nowhere to, to get advice. Just, like I think that is part of it, right? And, and mm-hmm. you know, I'm not necessarily looking to be this everybody's dad out here and give them advice. Yeah. But uh, I think the other huge part of it is these guys present themselves as we're the coolest. We're like the most in on it's all this. We're caught figures. up on all the crazy meme culture. It's like, Dude, these guys are losers. Like, they need to be shown as they're just kind of dorks. You know, like, stop no, vilifying like, them as, like, like, looking at it from the perspective of a or whatever. You're, you're looking at them from the perspective of a content creator. You yeah. know how easy it is for them to posture and make themselves sound badass and make themselves look rich and make themselves look happy for the few minutes that they're live on their streams or whatever, and to make themselves look like that they have amazing relationships because they are pulling Instagram models onto their. Uh, onto their show basically just to promote them and like i think it's got to be shown like these guys are, really are not that cool like they aren't cool, doing anything cool sad, he's going to the sad lines mm. these he's going to the strip look... club sober bro to try and pick up girls that's the saddest thing i've ever heard man like that's not <laughs> here, here's, cool. here's like here's my thing like if you want to be like a 
and decent dude. All right. And this is just coming from a guy. Listen, I wake up early every day. I have a job. I work. I make my money. I come home and I'm not out there partying at clubs. I have a relationship I come home to. And that's pretty, if you want to live a traditional lifestyle, this trad lifestyle that these people push, it's actually quite simple. Okay. Uh, if you want to date a woman and have a healthy relationship, you also can't be a degenerate yourself. Okay. Having a good relationship doesn't mean making millions of dollars a year and like banging 30 women. Okay. It's, it's called having decent morals, decent ethics, being a good person, having a good group of solid core friends. You know, your job doesn't have to earn you a lot of money, but it just has to keep you on the straight and narrow and something where you can have a good life. And then after that, if you pick up a hobby, you'll find somebody out there. Uh, you don't have to look for, you know, if she's under the age of 25, that's fucking creepy. You just have to find somebody that you connect with. That's it. Yeah, that's true. That's Simple good as advice. that. If you can find somebody you connect with throughout your life, it doesn't matter what the fuck their age is, okay? Your love comes in all fucking shapes and forms. I think the best thing to say is like, if you're seeking, if you're seeking these things out, like they're supposed to be this video game, and you're just filling out like a side quest and you're trying to get the reward, that's a bad way to live. Life is not a video game. Life is a fucking experience. Sometimes mm. things work in your favor. Sometimes they fucking don't. But the point is you can't bitch and complain. You got to own up to it and you got to make what you, you got to make things work around you to the best that you can. Okay. Sometimes that means you may be financially successful, but emotionally you may not be as successful. You may not be successful in the love game and there ain't nothing wrong with that. Okay. But, you know, fucking treating life like a video game and trying to optimize every strategy and buying into stupid courses that tell you that is not the fucking route to go down. It, it just shows immaturity, okay? Well, Part of being mature is realizing. Muda, what? You don't have, these guys say I have to bang 50 women before I get married. Then I can identify well, who the host is. Then you get an on. STD. Then, then you <laughs> get the fucking STD. Then you get Ohio tetanus in your life. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> then, then you have to CVS like me and try to figure out what the f*** to use. I, I would say so <laughs> the, the other key thing there, too, is like all these guys are like, I just want to be able to get a nice girl, nice girl. You don't bang 50 women at nightclubs to get a nice girl, dude. How you f***ing do that is you go and you volunteer at shit. Go go to places where a nice girl would be. You know, go if you want a religious girl, guess what? You got to go to in church then you got to go like yeah. volunteer yeah, you for go the to, church yeah you go to you got to go to the mosque that's where you find the religious girl with the hijab and yeah. everything in the life where yeah you go to the church you find the organ player you it's date like, them it's, it's the like, saddest thing in the world i don't know it just it makes me sad that people are taking inspiration from them and all the advice is just advice to fill their own pockets and will ultimately ruin all these people's lives too like no no yeah. one that's giving this advice is happy there is no one in the entire red pill community that look, actually look. is in a stable relationship. Yeah. There's two That's outcomes, wild. though, that this could happen. Either one, people get over and it's just a trend and it fades or whatever. Or two, there's a there's going to be a whole generation of crazy people, which I'll just profit bump from, dude. I'll, I'll take the Dude, concept. that's what I'm saying, actually. If you think about it, if you think, Nux, we're, all, we're, all, we're still, listen, no matter what, either the world, either, the, either this trend dies or we're eating good in or, the next yeah, couple I'm gonna years. Be, I'm going to be doing well for myself. Yeah. <laughs> One or the other. You're going you're gonna to start a whole fucking, like media brand off of it? Yeah, <laughs> Jesus yeah. Christ. But uh, we've got about an hour and 36 minutes. I think we had a long episode. We talked a lot, a lot of shit. I think we gave some really good advice solidly in the end. Mm -hmm. But uh, Willie, you want to promote anything of note? Uh, we sign up? That's just my YouTube channel, Willie Mac Show. Some good, uh, good old classic commentary over there. Check so it out. It's, it's 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 really good shit. In fact, I've seen you I've seen you be reacted to by a lot of people lately. Yeah, yeah, I've been um, reacted so, to. I think even by like XQC and shit. So it's cool. Oh, dude, dude it's it's uh it's 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 good to see you grow. You've been around for a while, and I've definitely mm -hmm. talked to you for a long time in the sphere too. So yeah, it's yeah. Good to see you, uh, Last time I talked to you, you were you were in the bathtub with us. <laughs> Dude, we were back then. We had a fuck. We had Salvo. Dude, Salvo and Bloody, that shit. bro. No, dude, Salvo is my favorite, bro. Like that fucking piss story. One day, we gotta film an entire documentary around that. We'll, shit. we'll go Jesus film a Christ. doc on Salvo. It'll be In great. the most dangerous part of America, Dayton, Ohio. <laughs> Oh, but step on nails ladies. and get STDs. Mm -hmm. Ohio tetanus, dude. That's a new. They're gonna. They're gonna. Get, dude, we talked about tetanus so much. I guarantee you, we're gonna get the little 
fucking like you know uh, <laughs> Wikipedia little thing. We yeah, the will Wikipedia for sure. banner. You cannot oh, yeah. get rabies from stepping on a nail. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get community noted. <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed today's podcast, check out Willie Mac Show. Check out Nux Taku, and check out me if you're absolutely devoid of anything to watch. Ladies and gentlemen, this is all of us, and we are out.